Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It has finally happened. Our young pullets have started laying eggs. And uh, we've talked a lot about eggs in the past. We made a video about how eggs were fool's gold and you couldn't make any money on them. When we first started, we were just more focused on homesteading rather than farming. And I think homesteading is just supplying enough for you and your family. Whereas farming is trying to make a profit and make these animals pay for themselves. So I've been keeping a lot better track on numbers to see how much it cost to get our first eggs. We're gonna go over those numbers today. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull up my trusty bucket. Um, I've got my numbers wrote down so I don't forget anything. And uh, we're gonna talk about how long, with this breed anyway, and how much it cost us to get our first eggs. And here are the first two little eggs that we got from our chickens. And here is a regular egg from our older flock and you can see the difference. So it's gonna take them a little while to get up to this size, but if you've raised chickens before, you know how exciting it is after all that time and effort and money you put into your flock to get those first two little eggs. So super excited about these eggs. Um, like I said, if you're a chicken person, you understand the excitement that I'm talking about. And I'm actually kind of surprised these chickens are coming close and hanging out with us today. But we talked in the past about that video about how I didn't think we could make money off eggs. And I'm not sure I totally agree with that anymore after running our numbers. Um, so we're gonna go over those numbers. If you can hear me over the wind, hopefully you can. Um, we're gonna go over the numbers and figure out how much it cost us to get our first egg. So we started back on June 18th. We purchased 60 brown sex links from Valley Farms Hatchery. Um, they came in all healthy and all alive. They actually sent us 66, and the total for the 66 chickens was $205. Um, with those chickens in the brooder, we needed shavings. We ended up only using one bag of shavings because it was warm out in the summer when we got these, so we were able to get them outside quicker so they weren't in the brooder so long. So we only spent $5.49 on shavings. Now, with feed, we ended up using 23 bags, 50 pound bags of non-GMO feed from the time they were chicks until the time they started laying. Those 23 bags were $16.49 a piece. And so that brought us up to a total of $379.27 in feed costs to get our first eggs. So now that was a total cost from the times they were chicks to 19 weeks. It took them 19 weeks to give us our first egg, which is pretty good for egg laying chickens. Um, it took us, it was a total of $589.76 to get our first egg from these chickens on the farm. Now, there's a bunch of pr expenses that we didn't talk about because we've been raising chickens for a couple years now and we didn't have to pay for those expenses. So that number is gonna be a little skewed because if you don't have anything and you're just starting out and you're wanting to get your first eggs, you've gotta think about a brooder. That's a space where you keep your chicks while they come home. They need to be in that brooder for at least four weeks until they feather out, depending on the time of year. You gotta think about your feeders and your waterers and your heat lamps to keep them warm in the brooder. Also, once they're ready to get out of the brooder, you gotta think about your chicken coops. We run chick shaws for our chickens. Um, our chick shaws probably cost close to $400 to get them all built with the siding, the lumber, the netting, the, the uh, wire in the bottom of them. Um, also, you gotta think about your fencing costs. We run the electrical netting with the electrical netting, we gotta get the solar chargers. The solar chargers are what costs us a lot of money. They're close to $300 for the solar chargers. 
And also, once you get those first eggs, you need nest boxes. We run the hen gear nest boxes in our coops and we absolutely love them. They're a little more expensive, but we're getting clean eggs all the time and they're all collecting in the same spot, which makes our egg collection a lot easier. So those are some extra expenses that you need to think about. When you're thinking about getting chickens, like I said, we didn't have those because we already had those set up. So I guess the farther along in your chickens, chicken life that you have or your farm life, the less expenses you will have. So for us, our total cost was $589.76 to get our first eggs. Now we're gonna go over some numbers trying to figure out how long is it gonna take us to actually pay those chickens off. And that's not including all those other items that I just listed on there. We sell our eggs for $5 a dozen. That means we would need to sell 117.9 dozen, or we'll just say 118 dozen eggs to have those chickens pay themselves off with food and the cost of the chickens. Well, 118 dozen is 1,416 eggs. Let's just say, like I said, we have around 60 hens. Say we're getting about 40 a day when they're at peak, peak production. That would take us around 36 days to get the 1,416 eggs in order to pay those off. So right around just about a month and a half. Now we've only got one to two eggs a day for the last three days, so obviously that's gonna take us a little bit longer and we've also got extra feed costs going into them as they start to lay and they're eating more to lay those eggs. So just a number there, to get those paid off about a month and a half and also we got to find the customers to buy that many eggs so is it worth it well for us we think it's worth it just because we love the farm fresh eggs i think these chickens will pay for themselves we only did chickens last year for the first time we had around 160 laying hens and i didn't run numbers just because we wanted the eggs and we didn't care but we felt like we, they weren't paying themselves off, especially as you go through the fall and winter months, they slow down because of the lack of daylight. And so you're just feeding the chickens and you're not getting all the eggs that you need. <laughs> These chickens are being very friendly today. So what do you guys think? Put down in the comments, do you think that chickens are worth it? Obviously we think they're worth it just because we know we're getting fresh eggs and delicious eggs and the best eggs money can buy. Do you think it's worth it for a financial stand for, from a financial standpoint on your farm that you can make money on them and have themselves pay themselves off? So we've talked to a few people about it that are a lot larger scale than us and we've heard that in order to start making a profit on the chickens, they needed to get up to around the thousand hen range. We are definitely not gonna have a thousand hens, but I'm starting to think that maybe they would pay for themselves. But you also have to think about your time. We move these chickens every day. We pick up all the netting and move them about once or twice a week. Um, so there's your time invested in there as well. But what do you guys think down in the comments? Do you think that chickens can, egg laying chickens can be a profitable, profitable enterprise on your farm? Put down in the comments what you think. I'm thinking maybe, but I don't know if I'm gonna grow my chickens any more than the 60 we have. Uh, we can't go in today, this Saturday, and not talk about pigs. Here is Josie, and she is getting ready to go back in. How you doing, Jos? She is getting ready to go back in with the sow herd. She is basically completely healed up. Um, we think it was called Dippity Pig. If you guys look at that, it's very sensitive skin. She lost kind of function in her legs. You already had breakfast this morning. Yes, you did. Um, but it looks like she is ready to go back in. So probably this weekend sometime we will get her moved back in with the main herd. It is always exciting. It was tough to watch her as she struggled. We had to go in and pick her up and she'd scream um, when we'd get her up and move in. But now we come out and she's just screaming at us because she wants more food. And uh, that is the, definitely the scream we want to hear. The, the food scream, not the uh, I'm in pain scream. So... If you ever have an issue with that, your pig's not getting up and you go to touch it and they're screaming like they're 
dying. It might be a dippity pig thing. You can look that up and see what that's all about. But wanted to give you all that update that she is going back into the main herd very shortly. So before we leave, we got to check out the piglets. I posted a video just the other day. It's hard to get them running out because normally they're out before I get out here or they hear the garage door open as I'm coming out and they're all running out of their house. But we had that video the other day where they were all in at night except just a couple of them. A lot of them don't sleep in there at night anyway because it's pretty decent out in the evenings. But they can all fit in, believe it or not. But here they are, the young piglet herd. A lot of these will be leaving here shortly. But uh, it was our goal, not our goal, but we used to watch videos where there was a field full of piglets and now we've got a field full of piglets and we just, we just love them. They are an awesome addition to our farm or any small homestead. The meat is amazing, their personalities are amazing, and they don't tear up our pastures. What more could you ask for? So they've been in here about three or four days now. They think I'm bringing them food and they think I'm their best, or they think we're all best friends, but I know they just want food. So down here, the grass is a little bit better. We are supposed to be getting some rain, which is also going to help here. Later in the fall, we'll still get a little bit of grass. Look at this one's brown face. I love this little piglet. Hey, pig, pig, pig. Hey, pig, pig, pig. How are you doing? So, obviously we couldn't do a video without showing you the piglets. Love having them together. This does not last forever. A lot, like I said, a lot will be gone and uh, the piglet stage is just a fun stage. Even though they're quite skittish at some times, they still are very enjoyable at this age and at this stage. So I'm gonna run on out of here. We've got some things to finish this weekend, but we've got our first eggs. Super excited to share that with you. Hoping that we're gonna have a bunch of eggs through the fall and winter. That's why we got them at this time of year. And I do know the production will go down with the less daylight that we have, so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to run out of here before these piglets get me. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Don't forget to make the change, and we will see you on the next video.